Hi, it's Mr. Anderson. Welcome to AP Biology Lab 11. This one is on animal behavior. And the animal that we'll be studying most of the time is something called a pill bug. A pill bug is, um, looks like this. They're found underneath rocks. You lift it up and they kind of scramble. I used to call them roly polies when I was little. And since we're studying animals, we're now entered into the area called ethology, which is the study of animal behavior. And uh, animals tend to show two different responses in, in uh, response to stimuli. The first and simplest is called kinesis. Kinesis is basically, and it comes from kinetic or movement, it's when organisms are moving around quickly when they're unhappy, and then they move slow when they're happy. And so pill bugs are going to show this. If you lift up a rock, they're going to run crazily. But if you put the rock down, then they're going to be happy, and then they're going to slow down. And you might think that's a real simple form of behavior, but simple is great because you don't need too many neurons to do that. You can make a pretty simple brain that can respond in this way. Imagine programming a robot that would simply run really quickly if it's unhappy, let's say there's a light, and then stop moving when it's not. Now, a way more uh, difficult way to kind of program that robot would be through taxis. Taxis is when they see something and respond specifically to that. So if they're moving towards an odor or towards, a, towards light or away from light or things like that, the directional response is going to be harder to program. It's going to contain a more of a brain, um, but it's also more sophisticated. So you searching out a hamburger is clearly taxis. Okay, so in this lab there are two parts to it. First of all, we have to watch fruit flies court. In other words, fruit flies are going to go through a courtship ritual to make sure that it's of the same species and of the opposite gender. Now humans undergo courtship as well. Uh, in this picture it might be uh, reciting poetry or singing a song or wearing the correct type of bonnet. Um, but in fruit flies, it's going to be quite a bit different than that. There will be singing, there will be dancing, there will be licking, there will finally be copulating. Um, but all of it is designed to set up behavior that ensures the safety and successful mating of both of the fruit flies. And so if you watch fruit flies for a while, you're going to be able to pick up, especially those that are courting some of these specific types of courtship behaviors. Most of the lab, though, however, is studying the behavior or the kinesis of pill bugs. So basically what you do is you take five pill bugs and you're going to put them on this side. Now this is a petri dish. It's got a cover on it. But on this side, it's going to be moist. So we got paper towel on the bottom, but it's going to be moist. On this side, it's going to be dry. So we're going to put five over here and then we're going to simply start the clock. And then we're going to watch them. So we watch them for maybe 10 minutes. Every 30 seconds, we count the number on either side. And so let me tell you what would happen. Well, they don't like it where it's dry. So they're going to bounce over here. They're going to bounce over here. They're going to bounce over. These ones are going to be moving really, really quickly. And eventually they may make their way over to here. These ones are really happy. So they're going to go really slow. And so pretty soon, instead of having five on this side and five on this side, you might have six on this side and four on this side, or you might have seven on this side or three on this side. And so basically what you can do is you can record how many are on either side at each of those time intervals. And so we can start to piece together um, if they're happy or not or where they're happy or not. And so here are some results from a video. Basically at time zero, you can see that we had five on each side, but then it quickly went on the wet side to 10 and zero on the other side. And there was movement all along, but we could do a histogram of this. So we could do a bar, bar graph and we could see that the average, they're spending more time on the wet than they are on the dry. But that's about all I can say. In other words, if I don't do statistical analysis, if I don't do chi-squared analysis, then I can't tell much from that. And so basically, if you don't understand chi-square analysis, take a look at that video, because in that video, I'm also going to show you the pill bugs moving, and you'll be able to calculate the chi-square value and show, are they really choosing the wet over the dry or not? And so that's animal behavior, and I hope that's helpful.